another action RPG, also known as Beyond Oasis, the story of Thor sees you take control of Prince Ali, who stumbles upon a gold armlet that grants him powers. However, some evil force has a silver armlet, so you need to seek them out and destroy them. Your main attack is a short sword, as well as punches and kicks depending on how close you are to an enemy, but you can collect different weapons and switch between them on the fly, though they only last a short while. Yep, you guessed it, the hit detection isn't the best, and as such, another promising action RPG on paper fails to truly excite me. And unlike some of the other action RPGs on this mini console, I don't see myself bothering to come back to it. Won't play again. Time for some great side-scrolling shooter action with Thunder Force 3. While the fourth game in the series is remembered more fondly, and thankfully shows up on the Mega Drive Mini 2, so I'll get to that soon, the third game in the series isn't exactly a slouch. Great visuals that make good use of parallax scrolling, great tunes, fast paced action and tons of power ups to gain along the way. An excellent way to spend time. THE standout side scrolling shooter on the Mega Drive Mini, miles above Darius and a little ahead of Super Fantasy Zone for me too. Will play again. I wonder which Mega Drive game is more overrated. Something Sonic related? or Toe Jam and Earl. At least with Sonic games I can kinda understand why people enjoy them. This game? I I'm baffled. It's so bloody boring. Walk around these strange floating islands that apparently are Earth, making me wonder if the game developers actually know what planet they live on looks like, and um occasionally collect a piece of your ship and maybe a present featuring a mystery item that may or may not actually help you. There are some enemies scattered around but you can literally just walk away from them and they'll quickly stop chasing you. Not every floor of Earth has a ship piece so sometimes all you'll have to do is find the lift to the next stage and nothing more. I hated this game when I bought it on the Wii Virtual Console after reading a wonderful write-up on it in the official Nintendo magazine at the time, and I hated it when I got it complete in boxing a retro gaming box many years ago. And I still hate it now on the Mega Drive Mini. Won't play again. Vector Man is a run-and-gun platforming game with a character made out of balls going around shooting robots. You can shoot in 8 directions, but any time you need to do a diagonal shot, it just feels awkward and stiff. Which sucks, because you kinda need that shot for a lot of the game. You get 4 hit points in an attempt to make the game somewhat manageable, but I ended up losing most of them any time I had to go up or down a slope, as again that damn diagonal shot was such a pain. This sadly isn't good at all. For the time, the Vector Man character model might have been visually impressive, but I'm guessing that's where all the focus went, because the gameplay sucks. Won't play again. 